right, my fellow peeps. Looks like we have another rent house installment. And three of them are requested by Oliver Hood as he would, uh, as he did hear it. I mean, see it. So these three segments will be racism, homophobia, and fat shaming. In other words, for fat shaming, fat phobia and social stigma of obesity. So now let's start off with racism first. All right. Racism is the belief that groups of human pos humans possess different behavioral traits corresponding to inherited attributes and can be divided based on the su superiority of one race over another. It may also mean prejudice, discrimination, or antagonism directed against other people because they are of a different race or ethnicity. Modern variants of racism are often based in social uh, perceptions of biological differences between peoples. These views can take the form of social actions, practices or beliefs, or political systems in, yeah, in which fucking different races are ranked as inherently superior or inferior to each other. Shit. Based on presumed shared inheritable traits, abilities, or qualities. They have been attempts to legitimize racist beliefs through scientific means such as scientific racism, which have been overwhelmingly shown to be unfounded. Uh, what the shit is this fucking thing about? Okay, in terms of political systems that support the expression of prejudice or aversion of discriminatory practices or laws, racist ideology may include associated social aspects such as Nativism, xenophobia, otherness, segregation, hierarchical ranking, and supremacism. Okay, now what the fuck is it also about? Okay. While the concepts of race and ethnicity are considered to be separate in contemporary social science, the two terms have a long history to equivalence in popular usage in older social science literature. Ethnicity is often used in a sense close to one traditionally attributed to race. The division of human groups based on qualities assumed to be essential or innate to the group. Uh, example, shared ancestry or shared behavior. <clears throat> Racism and racial discrimination are often used to describe discrimination or on eth ethnic or cultural basis, independent of whether these differences are described as racial. According to the United Nations Convention of the Elimination of All Forms of Racial Discrimination, there is no distinction between the terms of racial and ethnic discrimination. It further concludes that superiority based on racial definition is scientifically false. How the fuck is it false, man? Okay, well, let's see how the fuck is it. M morally condemnable, socially unjust, and dangerous. The convention also declared that there is no justification for racial discrimination anywhere in theory or in practice. Racism is a relatively modern concept that should have been died by now. Arising in the European age of imperialism, the subsequent growth of capitalism and especially the Atlantic slave trade, of which it was a major driving force. It was also a major force behind racial segregation in the United States in the 19th and early 20th centuries, and of apartheid in South Africa. 19th and 20th century racism in Western culture is particularly well documented and constitutes a reference point in studies, and this, uh, this course is about racism. Racism has played a role in particularly well-documented constitutes a reference point in studies and disclosures about racism. Race... Yeah. Racism... Yeah. Has played a role in genocides such as this godforsaken heartbreaking Holocaust, the Armenian Genocide, the Rwandan Genocide, and a genocide of Serbs in the independent state of Croatia, as well as the fucking colonial projects including... The European colonization of the Americas, Africa, Asia, and population transfer in the Soviet Union, including deportations of indigenous minorities. Indigenous peoples have been and are often subject to racist attitudes. 
Well, you know what, peeps? Racism is should have been a is a fad. Yeah, it it is such a fad that it should have been uh, wiped out of existence. Because, yeah, we do not treat uh, other people and their other races like garbage. We gotta treat them like we're a fucking family, even though we're not. All right, peeps. Next segment: homo fucking phobia. Okay, homophobia encompasses a range of negative attitudes and feelings toward homosexuality or people who are identified or perceived as being lesbian, gay, or bisexual. It has been defined as contempt, prejudice, aversion, hatred, or antipathy. It may have based on irrational fear and may also be regulated to religious beliefs. Negative attitudes towards transgender and transsexual people are known as transphobia. Well, that's... Well, not only that, but to me, it's automatic racism. Homophobia is observable in critical and hostile behavior such as discrimination and violence on the basis of sexual orientations that are not heterosexual. Recognized types of homophobia include institutionalized homophobia. Example... Religious homophobia and state-sponsored homo homophobia. And, and internalized homophobia experienced by people who have the same sex attractions, regardless of how they identify. Uh, negative attitudes uh, towards identifiable LGBT groups have similar yet specific names. Lesbophobia is the intersection of homophobia and sexism directed against lesbians. Gay phobia is the dislike of or hatred of gay men. Biphobia targets bisexually and bisexual people. And transphobia targets transgender and transsexual people and gender variance or gender role nonconformity. According to 2010 hate crime st statistics released by the FBI National Press Office, 19.3% of hate crimes across the United States were motivated by a sexual orientation bias. Moreover, in a Southern Poverty Law Center 2010 intelligence report ex extrapolating data from 14 years around 1995 and 2008, which had complete data at, available at the time, of the FBI's National Hate Crime st Statistics found that LGBT people uh, were far more than were far more likely than any other minority group in the United States to be victimized by the violent hate crime. Okay, I don't know why uh, why this fad had to be such a thing nowadays. I do not know what the fuck is going on. Uh, homo sex is immoral. Religious protesters at a pride parade in Jerusalem with a sign that reads, Okay, homosex is immoral. The association of homosexual sex with immortality immorality or sinfulness is seen by many as hom homophobic act a homophobic act uh, I, I do not know why uh, why is a homosexuality a sin yeah according to the Bible of Jesus Christ and God I don't know what what's uh, what's the thing Okay, I've seen that uh, worldwide laws re uh, regarding same-sex intercourse unions and expressions. Okay. Uh, okay. Illegal penalties, uh, death in, in some countries, death under Midas prison, death not enforced, prison with arrest or definition, prison not enforced, same-sex intercourse illegal, I mean, sex intercourse legal, recognition of unions, marriage, Civil unions, limited foreign, none, extraterritorial uh, marriage, limited domestic, optional certification and restrictions of expression. Okay, I, I don't know what's going on, but homophobia is such a fad that it should, that it should end it for good. All right, next one, fat phobia, or fat shaming, or social stigma of obesity. It is broadly defined as bias or discriminatory behaviors targeted at overweight and obese individuals because of their weight. Okay, such as social stigmas can span one's entire life as long as ex excess weight is present. 
starting from a young age and lasted into adulthood. Several studies from across the world, example, United States University of Marburg, University of Leipzig, indicate overweight and obese individuals experience higher levels of stigma relative to their thinner counterparts. In addition, they marry less often, experience fewer educational and career opportunities, and on average earn a lesser in income than normal weight individuals. Although public support regarding disability services, civil rights, and anti-workplace discrimination laws for obese individuals have gained support across the years, overweight and obese individuals still experience discrimination, which may have determinal implications in relation to both psy psy psychological and psychological health. These issues are compounded by significant negative uh, physiological effects that are already associated with obesity, which some have proposed may be caused by stress from the social stigma of obesity rather than from obesity per se. Anti-fat bias refers to pre prejudicial assumptions that are based on an assessment of a person as being overweight or obese. It is also known as fat shaming. Anti-fat bias can be found in many facts of society, and fat activists commonly blame popular media for the per pervasiveness of this fucked up phenomenon. Okay. Okay, weight discrimination. Okay, so... The weight stigma is a present in multiple settings, including healthcare, education, interpersonal situations, multiple media forms and outlets, and across many levels of, of employment. Yeah, there's so many insults uh, about fat, like fat fuck, fat ass, fat bitch, fat bastard, fat faggot, fat queer, fat ass son of a bitch. Oh, oh my god. Yeah, there's so many fat... Uh, fat insults that has anything to do with it. Oh yeah, especially the fat, uh, especially the fat terms that has anything to do with racism. Yeah, I don't know what the hell is all about. The, okay, so what the fuck? Yeah, it's it's really fucked up. It's very harmful to everyone's feelings if their fat shaming uh, shit is started. Okay, so in conclusion, my fellow peeps, racism, homophobia, and fat shaming are such diseases that that I really do not want to live in this world when it comes to this shit. It makes me want to end my life, but but no, it's not worth it. It's not going to make it make it happier. Nope. And I would possibly imagine if if some heartless son of a bitch like Pencil Neck decided to pick on. A person who, who is different different than him, overweight, even or even if they're uh, bisexual or gay, or, or or whatever sexuality they have, I bet Pencil Neck gets sued over this shit if this happened in Plotagon. All right, peeps, I gotta take a fucking break in here. So, yeah, and my confession is that. Uh, I've done these things as a kid, like a test or something, um, to test how uh, how this feels, and how do I feel when it comes to these three things? I just felt bad. I do not like what I've done that as a kid, but thank God I never d done that shit now. So, yeah, better watch what you do, peeps, and because of not, there's consequences coming in our ways.